I, I agree with you. I think that media didn't do what it was meant to do with the investigating and finding out what really happened. They were reporting, right? It's very but why did everybody run with the story? They do it again and again and again. In the case of Nicholas Sandman, they're all about to get their asses kicked by Lynn Wood. Maybe. We'll see. You know, no, not maybe. It's, it's you can't story slander story a 15-year-old kid and call him a racist and want to punch him in the face and deal with Linwood is going to win. I'll put any amount of money on it. Well, I, I, don't, I, I met this guy in 96. Yeah, okay. The question is whether there's a legal legal claim there for defamation, which is, is you know, it requires more than we have on air. But I would say that the, the post was reckless and not figuring out what was really happening. There was a full video. Yeah, of you, the you don't sound passionate enough there. about this for me. This is... <laughs> You know, look at what's, you know, uh, let me go to our friend Jonathan. Jonathan, Mr. This is a white lash himself, Van Jones over at Fake News CNN, you know, is comparing Jesse Smollett to Jackie Robinson, a fall of an icon. This is, this is the fall of an icon, and, and I, I, I don't think people understand how important he has been in the black community. Empire as a show. Yeah. Uh, to, to have him as a beloved character. I think did a great deal to knock back homophobia in the black community. The fact that Empire has been celebrated, the fact that he has been celebrated, and you see homophobia in the black community through his eyes on this show. This is a Jackie Robinson against homophobia in the black community, an icon, a beloved icon, and now you have the fall of an icon at a time when we need icons, when we need heroes, when we need people who stand up. So the, the level of betrayal, if this is true, yes. Is so deep. You can see 